Hello everyone, welcome to day 19th of May Lead Code Challenge and today's question is minimum moves to equal array elements to. In this question, we are given an array of size n and we need to return the minimum number of moves required to make all the elements of the array equal. How can you define one single move? In, in a single move, you can increment or decrement a value of an integer by one. So let's try and understand the solution by the presentation that I have created for this. It's not a very hard problem, just one simple trick and you will get the answer. So let's get started and let me just start the slideshow let me just take a pen minimum moves to array elements to solution lead code 462 so the question says make all the elements of an array equal to a single element and in one operation you need increment or decrement an array element by one we need to identify minimum number of such operations required to make the all the array elements equal so the only caveat here is identifying what should be that element to which all the array elements should be made equal to. For example, in this array we have 1, 10, 2 and 9. Which element shall we pick up 10, 2, 9 or 1 to which all the other elements should be made equal to and that element would be nothing but the median of the array. Why I am saying the median element because median element has a property that it stands at the middle point and all the elements to the left of it will be lower than the, the current this median value starting from the least uh, to the closest one and all the elements to its right would be greater than the median value. So we will try to balance each of these elements to the median value and that will give us the minimum number of operations needed to uh, make all the elements of the array equal now we know which element do we need to choose so let's try and iterate over one of the example uh, so first thing we are we are going to do is to sort the array so that we can identify the middle element so we have 1 2 9 and 10 uh, what will be the middle element the length is 4 the second element the element at the second index which is nothing but 9 so we'll try to bring all the elements to element 9 so how much uh, uh, more should we need to add to 1 8 how much more should we need to add to 2 7 so we don't need to do anything so it's 0 and 10 we need to delete 1 from it so the answer is 1 here the totality of these operations is 8 plus 7 is 15 15 plus 1 is 16 so we get 16 as our answer so let's try and understand it by another test case what we will do we'll sort the array because in order to identify the middle element we need to do the sorting operation so we have 1 2 5 9 and 10 so which one is the middle element fifth 5 is a middle element so we'll try to bring all the elements to 5 we need to add 4 here we need to add 3 here we don't need to do anything here we need to subtract 4 here we need to subtract 5 here so what is the total sum of these elements 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 plus 5 is 16. So the answer again is 16. Now the problem reduces to identifying the middle element out of the input array. There are two approaches of doing it. The first one being the naive approach. You sort the array uh, and you find the middle element. The middle element would be at the index length by 2. The time complexity for this approach is order of n log n because you are performing the sorting operation. The first thing that we are going to do is to sort the array and once we have that array sorted we will try and identify the middle element of the array which will be the median one. It would be at the index length by 2 and we will start the iteration in the input array. We have also maintained a count variable that will store the number of counts that we need to make and count would be equal to count plus equal to the absolute value of element minus the middle element and in the end we will simply return the count. So let's just try this up. accepted what is time complexity of this approach time complexity is order of n log n because of the sorting process and space complexity is order of 1 